I'm wiring frames here on this new Primal Hive. First thing you have to do is figure out how to your your process and how you're going to run wires through here. So here's the end product, and you can see I hope you can see these um, nice X's or triangles that I'm making with wire uh, through the through the whole frame. And this is what's going to hold the foundation, and I'm going to show that also in a little bit. All right, so I have a reel that I've attached to the bench right here, and I have some regular frame wire in there. I first start off by pulling out a length I know is going to be long enough to actually go right through the frame, and then to keep it from crack rolling on the, on the wire pull spool, I just attach it to that little nail, all right? And then it's just a matter of figuring this out for yourself. There's holes in the frame in each corner, and in various locations as you go down the frame, so you you just cross wire it. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. I'm going to show you how I'm just going to go through the whole process. And when I get to the top over here, I'm just going to terminate it by twisting that wire around real close up to that corner boss on the plastic. All right, that might be a little bit hard to see in the camera, but that's what I'm doing. Then I go backward and tighten it a little bit. All right, so I'm pulling it. If it, this this is an opportunity, this is just sort of a frame wiring at this point. You have a little opportunity to straighten out your your, your wiring as you go backward. And when I come to this point, I can put a little tension on it. Not much, because if you put too much tension on it, it'll bend these rails. And you don't want to do that. So I clip off a little. And because this wire is attached to this nail here, it doesn't back roll when I release the tension. Very important to do that. Okay, now I'm going to wire this the same way, twist it around there. You only need a couple twists. This wire is very um, easy to work with. It's the right gauge for wiring. I'm clipping off this extra, so that's half the frame is done. All right, so now I'm going to flip it over and do the other half. All right, so the frame is done. Nice cross wiring. Now I'm gonna show you how I actually prepare the foundation I'm using to place in here. I have another template I have to use for that. And um, I'll show you the foundation I have that I'm using. So the foundation I have is the kind you wire into a frame. And it comes with these nice little hooks. They have to be taken off to uh, wax foundation for it to be used. In the United States you're going to have to use uh, three sheets of foundation uh, to fill up one of these wire frames and uh, where they're made they actually have one large sheet that goes over the whole wax that is wax foundation that goes over these wires and then they burn them in but in our case so uh, we have to actually form three different separate sheets of wax foundation so in this case I've, I've Cut, cut the little hooks off the top because it was a regular foundation used for wiring into frames. So I made them nice and uh, wire free on the edges. And as you can see, there's a little template on the on this board that I drew based on the inside dimensions of one of these frames. So that if I follow this outline when I cut the frames, as I'm going to show you, they fit nicely inside there. So the pins on the top. Keep it aligned. So the first thing I do is push it up against those pins, and then I pay attention to these um, wired in horizontals, and I try to get my first piece of foundation wire free. So when I cut it, I'm not cutting over the top of wire. Now I want to maintain um, the cell alignment as I make my other sheets, and so I'm going to try to just match them up. So that at this, at this point, I've just matched the frame, these two pieces of foundation up so the cells line up nice. I'm still outside the horizontal wire when I make my, my cuts. It won't be that way with the last sheet. But at this point, I'm safe. All right, so the final sheet I'm going to put in this way. All right, so those are three sheets of foundation I'm going to use. And now, now the process of cutting them um, so I can fit them into the frame. All right, so I'm going to follow these lead lines. 
here and at the bottom I'll make my first cut um, the horizontal cut using this straight edge and I'm going to line the straight edge with the um, indication lines on each side and making sure that the, that the rule follows them really nicely so that I don't want to make the foundation you only have small tolerances so I don't want to make the foundation any larger or smaller than it has to be all right so I'm just going to cut this Right, and move my hand down so I support the next sheet and then final the final sheet. Now I'm going to run over one of those horizontal lines right here. It won't be a problem. All right, so that's one half of the, of the horizontal done. All right, so let's take those extra pieces out so I have a nice tapered line of foundation on that side. So same thing here. I'll line it up. Just so I get cut, cutting just basically on that line. And you can see, maybe you can see from the video that this horizontal line is free all the way down this horizontal uh, wire that's already in the foundation. So I'm avoiding cutting over the over it. It doesn't really do much. Uh, it doesn't really make much difference, but it will uh, make it so that you have to take more foundation away from the side than you might want to. Okay. So that's it, and we just have to cut the length right now, and we'll have it. Let's do the length. It's the same thing. There's only one little, you know, depending on how you do this, there's only one little thing you have to be cautious of. You have to hold this last sheet in. You can't see any of this, I'm sure, <laughs> but I just made a little uh, line across the bottom. All right, so. Um, then I'll pull these off like this. And I do this over at a station, but I'm just holding them so you can see what I'm doing. And then I will just oh, get rid of that. I'll clip these wires off and I'll join you in a minute. All right, so these are shaped nice, nice and tapered. They taper just like the frame, so let's show you how to go in there now. So I can start at the bottom or top, doesn't matter. So you can see they fit in there nice. All right, and then there's little pins here that they use to secure the foundation to the frame. It gives you a little bit of a support. So that's all I did was push it down and pinch it a little bit. You can see that it's pinched in that corner. And I'm going to continue with the rest. Here's the middle piece that came out of the jig. And that goes in there. There's a little alignment um, protrusions on the sides of the rails. And you just have to get your wax in those. All right, so you're on those pins again. So it's a matter of just pushing them down, pushing these corners down, get them in the pin. So now you got two sheets in, and then the final sheets, uh, the largest one on top, of course. All right, same thing, got these little alignment slots on the sides of the frame. And, and pull it down so that it, once you push it on the pins, it will be in, in almost perfect alignment. So now the foundation is laying against the wire on the other side now sort of critical part i had to make this jig um, to actually press in the crimp wire so this is just a piece of cardboard i cut and it follows um, the outline of this frame and it has reliefs in it really rough reliefs that'll get it past all the obstructions so that it'll press this foundation against the wire once i insert it so there's little little protrusions here that would get in the way. These pins, these clips, right? The pins and the clips, basically these clips down here. So I made little allowances in this to make sure that those are always clear. All right, so just you just put this on like this. So now this surface, I put some cardboard on it to protrude above the surface of this rail so that when I flip this over, there's tension, if I push it down, 
there's tension on between the wire and the wax that's here already with the wax foundation. So now it's just a matter of using a crimping tool to crimp this wire. And with this, all you do is follow the wire up and it just, it actually just puts a little kink or a crimp in the wire. And then that wire then is embedded into the, into the wax. All right now, slide it over a little bit so it's easier for you to reach it. And all you're doing is keeping that crimping tool right in the center of that wire. Not a hard thing to do, actually. It might look hard, but it certainly is not. You can do that. You can do this very easily. All right, so I'm crimping it. Keep crimping it, all right? Underneath, of course, I'm feeling the cushion of that cardboard, and it's keeping the wax foundation in place, so I'm not pushing the wax foundation away from the wire, which is critical if you're going to crimp. All right, so then when you just lift it up, it comes right off that fixture, and there's your um, completed frame. So I think this whole process would take you probably uh, the better part of a day to do in one of your when you get, get one of these primal hives, and uh, we'll um, we'll talk about uh, the installation in the field. I'm going to go and put a box of bees in this on uh, April 19th, and I'll show you that process, and then we'll watch the build. And we'll see what kind of um, action bees take um, with this uh, beautiful box that's um, designed for its total maximum thermal efficiency and, um, and hive control.